ended in overtime, and I know that the fans stormed the court and some guys got on the scores table. Do you guys do you guys look back at that? Do you reflect on that? Do you going into this game? I mean, does that serve as motivation for either of you two? Oh uh, yeah, we we just understand uh, that we got to come out and play today. You know how that ended last game wasn't obviously the way we wanted it to go and uh you know it was kind of just like a big rub in our face you know them storming in and stuff like that so i always remember stuff like that of course and uh you know i just wanted to make sure today we we got off to a great start uh set the tone early and you know kind of controlled the game and i played we did that for the most part and duan you had i think tied a career high um what was your goal going in this game did you you know, did the coach tell you to be aggressive or kind of what was what was the plan for you going in? Uh, you know, they tell me to be aggressive every day. So I just wanted to – and my teammates tell me every day to be aggressive too. So I just wanted to come in and shoot the ball. And, you know, today I shot a lot of threes today, and that's what my teammates and coaches don't want from me. So I just wanted to be aggressive and score the ball today. Hey, how good did the, the fast start feel after the last few games? Oh, it was great. Uh, I think even, you know, last game – we started off pretty well, even though they got out to like a good jump. But I think that's kind of the key to, to our success, you know, is uh, starting off fast, you know, not having to play catch up throughout the entire game. And, you know, I feel like when we control the game at our own pace, as far as the first half works, we're going to be in pretty good shape, you know, throughout the game. So I feel like that's, that's a good key to, to, to do. And for both of you, they just were in here and talked about, you know, Jalen didn't get 38, so we did our job on him. But it was the other guys that, that beat us tonight. How big was your bench? How, how important was that? And, and how much do you think that can be sustained moving forward after maybe a little confidence from this one? Uh, really, in our bench, you know, if they if they come in big for us, I think we have this, it helped the starters out way more, give us more risk. And, you know, that's what they did today. And, but I think today we played, we guarded well, too. And then, you know, we shared the ball a little bit, too. So I think that, that fit in right in well with us. Yeah, and I think uh... – you know, to, to piggyback what Juan said, I think when our bench comes in and plays with, with the confidence that they did today, um, kind of just makes us better all around, you know, offense and defense, p pushing the ball in transition. And, uh, you know, w regardless of what they said about, like, 38, like, I don't have to score that to win. You know, we have a deep team and a, and a, and a confident team. And, you know, when we play like t we did today, uh, for the most part, you know, there's not really any teams that can stay with us. Guys, I saw Travis Kelsey came in the locker room after the win. Can you share what he said with you guys, if anything? Oh, to, uh, to you know, to keep pushing, keep getting better. Um, they're going for a championship, and, you know, he was telling us that, you know, winning one is good, but winning two is even better. So, uh, you know, it was really cool to see guys at that come and support, uh, you know, you knowing how much this place supports them. So to see them come back uh, was pretty cool. Jalen, over here. Um, during the, the losing streak, like, you were on one. Like, you, you had it really going, you know. But, but what's it do for the psyche of the team and for the group when, when those others get involved? And, and um, kind of what is it like to, to feel in that zone, but you know the others are, are struggling, and then tonight where you can still get yours, but, but the others? It feels great. You know, I feel like we're more complete when we do that. Um, you know, to see guys step up and be confident, come in the game, shoot the shots they're supposed to shoot, uh, regardless if they go in or not, it's great. You know, I'm, I'm all for that. You know, I, I love how, how confident Joe's checks in the game, you know, coming in, shooting the shot. Kevin shot some good shots tonight. Uh, of course, we always tell Juan to be aggressive, and that's what we need. You know, we need a full five on the court. That's all looking to attack and score. Uh, and even if it's not scoring, just being aggressive, getting downhill. Juan, you got some big shots to go down the stretch. Just describe what you know was open and what made you so effective in closing time tonight. Uh, I think uh, when I hit that big three that Jay Will passed to me, uh, Coach drew something up, and then uh, Noel he was just like camping in the lane. I was just I was already ready to uh, shoot the ball because Coach put me over there for a reason, and Jay I, uh, Jay Will trusted me, and I just made the shot. And then you know the uh, ball screen high, the the high ball, ball screen we do at the top of the key uh, really. Cause that's that's for me to make a play, so I was just making a play for my team. Um, the past couple of games, obviously excluding Kentucky, you guys kind of struggled against the playing against the glass. Um, what's changed? Uh, Jalen, you had eight rebounds tonight. Kevin had thirteen, and then obviously last game, you guys really saw some improvements. Uh, we just know when we limit teams as far as second chance points. Our uh, our opportunities on offense, you know, continue to grow. I think we're best when we were able to get the rebound, push the ball in transition, make the right plays. And uh, you aren't able to get out and transition as much when you don't rebound. So we kind of just started locking in on, on limiting teams to one shot and uh, starting offense off that. You, you guys had revenge in play. You had just going out and executing better. But how much did the race play into tonight? Pretty big game for, for the Big 12 race. 
Uh, I think Baylor and uh, the Texas had a good game last night. You know, it's hoping the stuff ended up well, but you know, everything is on us. So we just gotta believe in ourselves and come in every day and work and you know, follow the game plan. Coach, just, uh, coach, all the coaching staff. You know, we just gotta come in and work every day. So we, we just gotta worry about us for real.